This message is for all of you ransomware threat actors out there that follow me on YouTube and maybe some of you on LinkedIn. I mean, I don't really know, but uh, it's time to cue my dad voice. Shame, shame. You know what I always say when I'm talking to my kids? You made this bed, you are going to lay in it. Now, what am I talking about here? Well, I'm going to show you. Some new data has just come out from our friends at Coveware, and I want to talk about this for a minute because it's really, really interesting. They were looking at, and this was just published just a couple of days ago in February, looking at all of the ransomware threat actors and the demands and the ransomware payments that have happened over the last quarter in 2020. And some interesting statistics have come out. Now, if you don't know my friends at Coveware, they are probably the top shelf premier ransomware broker for incident response, for cyber incident response. The vast majority, or at least I'll say a fair amount of ransomware payments are ultimately brokered through Coveware. So they're the authority on these payments. And they said something very interesting. One of the things that they said is the fact, and you can see this right here, that ransomware payments in 2020 have gone down. In other words, the number of people that are actually paying a ransom is going down. Now, why is that? Well, you ransomware threat actors that are out there, obviously your IQ is not quite high enough to understand this, so let me elaborate for you a little bit. When you start saying things like, hey, if you don't pay the ransom, I'm going to extort all your data. And by the way, Perch was talking about that in 2019 in our threat report, and we predicted that that would happen in 2020, and that happened prolifically. What happens when you say that you are going to delete data that you have exfiltrated if they pay the ransom, and then you don't? Trust is eroded as if there was much trust in the first place dealing with criminals, right? You should have thought of that from the first place. But when you erode that public trust and people see that whether I pay or don't pay, you're still going to exfiltrate my data or try to go after it a second time and get a second ransom, your trust goes out the window. Your affiliate network, who you are, goes out the window. Nobody trusts you anymore, which hurts you. It hurts your bottom line. It hurts your pocket. And so this is why Coveware is saying that they have noticed a decline and they cite this simply because you as a threat actor are not being honest. You are not doing what you say you are going to do. Now we know how this works. We know that in the olden days, you first started with denial of service and you would go after organizations and say, you'd better pay up, otherwise this denial of service is going to continue and it would be a complete shutdown. And what happened for us good guys? We learned resiliency. We learned how to do scrubbing. We learned how to have additional backup circuits to handle denial of service attacks. And so what did you do? You pivoted and went after ransomware. Well, what happened when organizations began to build resiliency around ransomware? Things like immutable backups and truly understanding recoveries and RTOs and RPOs and knowing how to systemically and quickly and effectively recover from ransomware. Well, you switched again to exfiltration on top of ransomware. What's happening now? Well, we're learning that you as a bad guy are simply not going to do what you say you're going to do. And so why pay a ransom in the first place if you have all my data and we know that you're gonna leak it regardless of whether I pay or don't pay. Might as well not pay and go through the harm of it. So you see my ransomware adversaries, this is a problem of your own making. When you choose to not be honest, when you choose to break the rules, when you choose to do things that are illegal, you are going to suffer the ramifications. And I for one welcome organizations and applaud organizations for not paying the ransom. Ideally, we should never pay you as a criminal. And so I'm very glad to see the Coveware people really talking about this and showing why we're seeing a reduction in ransomware payments. And I hope this continues. I hope this is a trend that continues to push pain back onto bad guys who have pushed enough pain back on us. If you'd like to see more of this report, I'll put it a link in the post below. And so you bad guys can go and read and see just how poorly of a job you've been doing lately. And hey, as a threat actor, I wish you nothing but unsuccess in 2021. I wish you nothing but failure, and I wish that nothing ever goes right for you in your illicit businesses ever again. And just in case you're wondering who this is, this is Wes Spencer, CISO of Perch, signing off.